Mm -hmm. Everything working okay. Ah. Hello. Ah, oh, just missed. some of these quests. Look how stupid they are. Uh, You're good. Ugh. 
How good are you? There are chests in the field. It's wonderful. Just what I wanted. should read this when they come up now. Yeah, You stubborn. I'll burn you till you're charred. Six there. <laughs> Good, we're done. Three, four, five, six, five, can't do a soul extraction. Yeah, that stage was a lot. I didn't actually think I'd be able to do those quests. They seem way too annoying. Please, 
Call when in need. Just find some more poison worms. I should still be able to fight with this. Hut, hut. This isn't good. What should we do? I don't know. actually look around the goddamn city. That would help some. I should still be able to fight with this. Alright. 
don't even have to poison them. Good work out there. So, what did you think of being poisoned? <laughs> Bet you don't want to experience it again, huh? To guard against conditions, always keep your eye on restoration items. There are also skills and wizardry that can cure conditions. Use them wisely. Nice job. You had the gist of hunting now, right? Try a more powerful prey next time to hone your skills. If you need it, I'll send you information by queue. Oops. Uh, this should keep those merchant guild guys off our backs for a while. <laughs> did it. Try to perform it wherever you can from now on. You might find a special key wand. All special key wands are grey. Special key wands don't have levels, plus they have various abilities and rarity makes them valuable.
Bumping this house. Okay, why don't you let me look around anyway? And then it's werewolf hunting time. Obviously. Let's go! 
okay. Wish there was a dedicated dodge button. I should still be able to fight with this. <laughs> Okay. Okay, doke. Well, wolf time. You know, no one's ever glad to see us. Be careful, Juto. Werewolves are extremely vicious. That much is obvious, I'd say. That's our princess. I haven't seen her in action for a long time. Zephy, are you injured? I'm fine. I got a little careless there. What just happened? Zephy's signature technique. The hero Strauss's blood flows in the veins of the Berlinette royal family. They say that Strauss was a gifted wizard who was born to a human and a carta. That's why there are the occasional throwbacks born into the royal family. You know, people born with special abilities, like the ones Lord Strauss exhibited. I myself possess the ability that you saw me use just now, but for some unknown reason, I still can't fully control it. I have the ability to initiate extremely powerful wizardry, but just not all the time. Even so, if it weren't for that power, I doubt that we would have been able to defeat Elgar that one time. You defeated Elgar? You, Princess? Just the one time. But I'm afraid Elgar is still alive, even though I mortally wounded him when we fought. Back then, if I had only defeated him once and for all. I'll be the one to defeat Elgar. That's the reason I joined the Southern Forces. Oh, don't make me throw those words back in your face someday. The way I hear it, you defeated the Guardian. But judging from today's fight, you don't look that tough to me. Did that really happen? Crosal, will you please stop trying to provoke him? Yes, ma'am. You have such a soft spot for this guy, Princess. Crosal, your personality is the issue here. I give credit where it's due, if they deserve it. Excuse me? Leave it at that. All right now. The werewolf leader should be up ahead.
Knees the chief. I should still be able to fight with this. done. Okay. <laughs> 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 
done. We thought I would have had to break his weapons, but mm, whatever. What's this? Plunder that the werewolves stole from the southern forces. Damn, I can't believe it's this bad. It appears that the werewolves have been working with the northern forces for quite some time. I don't believe it! Princess, what's the matter? Hmm. This is Kaito's armor. I can't believe I'm finding it in a place like this. Kaito? A mercenary we could always rely on. He put his life on the line for Lonsheim, fighting on the front lines. Well, I strongly doubt that he was killed by Sion Regro. How did he die then? I'd always heard that Kaito acted as a decoy to allow his men to escape and fought to his last breath. No matter how brave he was, he was no match for their numbers. Zephy, Kaito's death is regrettable, but if not for his sacrifice, many more would have died that day. I know. There was no other choice. <sighs> Juto, this is our reality. On the battlefield, death is always right by our side. But you mustn't die. You have to live. Yeah. Will you take Kaito's armor? Huh? Kaito was a warrior who bravely faced even sentinels. He is no longer with us, but I'd like his torch to be passed on to you. That is, if you are ready to receive it. I understand. It looks pretty good on you. It does, I guess. I'm sure Kaito is very happy right now. Use this sword, too. It's a fine blade.
We've finished exterminating the werewolves. Let's head back to Abazet. Our mission is complete. Well, I guess we could take it easy here for a while longer. It doesn't look like the princess is quite ready yet. <sighs> Today has been difficult for her. Every piece of plunder represents a dead soldier. Being a princess who leads a southern forces unit is probably pretty tough. Well, in that case, she shouldn't have started this war in the first place. I mean, she's fighting to retake her throne, right? What are you talking about? It was that bastard Shuenzite that started it. He assassinated the previous queen and then sent sentinels after anyone who spoke out against him. If the southern forces hadn't been on Highwind Island, it would have fallen victim to the sentinels long ago. Oh, come on. The southern forces were useless. Face it, in the end, they abandoned Highwind Island. Are you saying that was the princess's fault? Listen, pal, it's because of the princess that you're alive right now. If it was me, I wouldn't be babysitting some self-centered jerk who was spouting crap about getting revenge. The princess tries to shoulder the burden for everything herself. She'd feel the same even if you hadn't said it was the Southern Force's fault. I lost everything I had because of the Northern Forces too, but I didn't try to blame it on someone else like you do. It's her own undeniable sense of responsibility that causes her to lead a frontline unit with no regard of the danger. Zephy is desperately trying to end this war. Which is why the burden that bears her down is commensurately heavy. She herself was the one who suffered the most over the fact that we couldn't save Highwind Island. Everyone, don't be too hard on Juto. Princess. I failed to save the island. I failed to fulfill my responsibilities as princess. Juto has every right to criticize me harshly. What are you saying? Come, let's go home to Abazet. <sighs> what did you think of your first mission? Was it difficult? Yes. Yeah, not really. For us, this is just another ordinary day. You'll need to get used to it quickly. I understand. I couldn't look at her. I couldn't look Zephy in the eye. I just stared at her back, which seemed so lonely. I was... I was just a kid who was drunk on his own circumstances. Mm -hmm. uh, what now? Ah. Thank you for rescuing me. Ugh, I thought I was a goner for sure. I can get away on my own. Thank you. <laughs>
Everyone, good work today. Now go back to the barracks and get yourself some rest. What about you? I have something I need to discuss with Alex. I'll be over at General Headquarters. This seems very old hq -y. It's not, it's just a house. Debits.
Say, youngster, does the name Han ring any bells? He's my precious oldest son, but he was drafted and sent into battle. In battle, death is always with you. It could be worse than a son dying before his father. I want my son to come home while there's still life in me. Will you grab this old man's request? I want you to protect him so that nothing happens to him. Please, as fellow summoned forces soldiers. This old man's wish. Oh, thank you. It means so much to me. I'll repay the favor. You can be sure of that. I really want to take a hint of freaking. Is the only good thing that doesn't screw with anything else. You 
rescued the abducted person. I've been filled in. Get your rewards from Yang, the warehouse master. Thank you for saving our valuable guild member. I see we can count on the seven forces. Here's your completion reward for carrying out a job for the guild. Also, the rescued staff told me to give you this command as a sign of gratitude. We hope you continue to answer future guild requests. Here's to a fruitful association. <laughs> By the way, Old Fox Canyon. On this game is the wasteland of silence. It's a dangerous area where many vicious monsters lurk. The lattice who live in herds attack travelers, so no one can enter there. Yeah, 
Okay. Cables that can give me quests that I can't actually do yet. Fine. such an idiot. I can only think of myself. I really am an immature kid, aren't I? I really ought to apologize. Wow, what's keeping her? Is she still talking with Alex? Maybe I'll go check over at General Headquarters. It's a pleasure to be addressed at such length by you, Princess. However, that last part concerns me somewhat. Oh. I'm told that he's lost his memory, but that simply makes him a person of unknown background. Is it wise to allow him into the army? Juto hasn't caused any trouble. He's simply an ordinary young man who is mourning the loss of his close friend. Plus, Juto's intense anger towards Elgar almost drove him to recklessly travel north to try and exact revenge. I believe that it was ignorance of the realities of war that drove him to such an extreme notion. For that reason, I determined that it would be best if he fought in the southern forces. I believed that if he experienced real war, he would see how reckless he was being. Besides, it is my responsibility that Judo was about to make such a rash and potentially fatal decision. <laughs> you seem to have taken a fancy to him. I believe I may be a little jealous. Stop joking around, Alex. Personally, I'm not inclined to authorize it. However, I have a soft spot for favors from you. Anyway, they say that he defeated the Guardian, so perhaps he is more useful than he appears. Thank you. I'll be going then. Far be it from me to play give and take. I've done as you've asked, so perhaps you might be more forthcoming in showing your appreciation. Nothing would make me happier. I am sufficiently grateful to you, Alex. If that isn't enough for you, perhaps I should get down on bended knee? <laughs> you wound me. That's quite all right. Please excuse me. <laughs> Impudent little girl. You're nothing but a... I'll be the one who gets the last laugh. This war will end in victory... for me. Oh look, the asshole is evil. Who would have ever guessed? 
Juto, what are you doing here? I can't believe you have to bow and scrape to Alex because of me. If that's what it costs to join the Southern forces, then forget it. You were eavesdropping. I, I really didn't mean to. It's just that I never wanted you to have to kiss up to anyone because of me. You shouldn't have to do it. I'm a leader, Juto. It's only natural that I look out for my men. It's nothing that you need to worry about. <sighs> what brought you here? Actually, I was planning to apologize. I said some terrible things to you without knowing anything about the position you're in. There's no need to apologize. When it's all said and done, I was the one who got you mixed up in this war. Yeah, but it was my decision to join the army. If you'd known I'd have to bow and scrape to Alex, you never would have joined the army? That's not... I'm sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. I'm criticizing you, even though I'm in no position to. <sighs> Let's go back to the barracks. There'll be another battle soon enough. We talked, but our words accomplished nothing. In the end, only silence remained. I didn't know just how great a burden she carried, or how grave a responsibility being a princess was. Any luck? <laughs> What's an unusual case? There doesn't appear to be any common rejection. Hmm. Still, what brought this on? You're suddenly interested in taking a pen for a pet. Perhaps. Let's just leave it at that. But if I'm making it a pet, I want it to be clever. With the comment of this grade, the subject is sure to be enhanced even more than the last one. <laughs> I look forward to it. We've received two missions from Commander Raoud. But we just cleared out those werewolves. I mean, are we the only unit in the Southern Forces? And seriously, two missions? Even our own unit is shorthanded due to the preparations for the operation in Old Fox Canyon. Our first mission is to search out and eliminate a group of Lapper variants that are moving towards the port. Lappers? You mean those weak things that you could find on Highwind Island Shore? Right. But this variant can't be defeated. Unless you completely break its shell. And their shells are so tough that they won't be easy to break. Is it just me, or do they always seem to stick us with the tough missions? You can break this variant shell with the axe signature technique, armor break. The axes have been left with the soldiers at the city gates. Before we leave the city, don't forget to pick one up. What a hassle. So, what's the other one? Go to Abazet Port and bring back some bombs. Apparently, they're to be used in the battle at Old Fox Canyon. Sheesh, they're working us like dogs. There is a settlement of the Neko Neko people near the port. They've been helping the Southern Forces. Cargo meant for the Southern Forces is being kept there. So, we should be able to get all the bombs we need there, too. Speaking of which, I heard that the Neko Nekos are in the middle of fierce territorial battles among their own kind. Is that still going on? The roots of their conflict run deep. I doubt they will live in harmony anytime soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Person who can heal me in the party. Looking for an axe? I have it here. I'm amazed you can wield this thing. All the sudden forces only you can handle it, I'll go. Right, leave you do it. Scale tree.
Every single time I that question, keep my help. Bloody blah 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 styles. Okay. Into the port, right? Judgment. To I shall deliver. This is the end. It's only natural to help a friend.
your weapon. Um, I need to get this quiet, but would you mind helping me out? I'm an apprentice tanner. I need claw beast hides. I can't seem to get any. You're really vicious, you see. I came this close to dying two times. Without their hides, I can't do my job. I'm in a real jam here. So I was wondering, could I trouble you to capture five claw beasts for me? My trapping skills aren't there yet, so I'll study hard and make sure I can do it myself next time. Naturally, I'll pay you enough for five of them. Please, I need your help here. I'm waiting here, so tell me when you've trapped five. took any time at all. I can't believe you caught them so easily. You know it, I'm not ready yet. Never, ever beat like you guys. Guess I'll need to find another way, like using traps or something. Anyway, you're a big help. Here's your payment. Yep, five dead claw beasts captured.
because of those vile Miku jets, it's one door day after another. Meow. We don't mind killing six of those vexing things. Because of them, even our stomachs are growling. What do you say? I'll leave you to it then. Even our stomachs are growling because of them. Since you are already here, could I trouble you to do something for us, Meow? Our precious bells have been stolen by our old enemy, the Nico Jack. I'd like you to recover the bells. I'll make it worth your while, Meow. The stolen bells are in treasure chests in their territory. You'll need keys to open them. I expect that some of the Nico Jacks are carrying them. I sort of work on this guy. Leave it to me. My blade should be enough. My sword will work well. Meow, meow, it's our bells. Wonderful, terrific. We are much obliged indeed. The southern forces are the best. <laughs> you saved us, meow. We Neko Neko are a race who always repay the favor when someone helps on. Feel free to use this meow. We won't skimp on your reward. Meow meow meow. <laughs>
It's the pleasure doing business, meow. We already have our storage fee. The bomb box is right here. What kind of mission will you be using the bombs on this time? Congratulations on completing your mission. Also, I have a message for the princess. There is to be a meeting at General Headquarters this morning. Very well. I'll set out as soon as I get ready. Yes, princess. Stop shit. Thousand. 
is immediately on one side. The next campaign is going to be major. We must proceed with caution. As I'm sure you are all aware, the princess was researching the Guardian on Highwind Island. Who is he? Raoud, doddering old blowhard. Although she was unable to ascertain the method by which sentinels are constructed, the research did uncover the sentinel's weak spot. Wood. She determined that sentinels, as with the Guardian, have been implanted with Commond. Commando, for lack of a better word, acts as their heart. Destroy its Commond, and the Sentinel's life support functions will cease. Its capabilities will then rapidly decline, and eventually, it will die. Until now, the Southern forces have been hard-pressed, but much more effective campaign should now be possible. This is entirely thanks to the Princess's valiant efforts. It's been one pathetic battle after another for far too long. It's nice to hear some good news. Even so, will there be a dramatic turn in the tide of battle for the better just because we've uncovered their weak spot? You can be sure that the Northern forces are well aware that commons are the Sentinels' weak spots and have installed devices to protect them. Nevertheless, I believe there's a difference between fighting a battle while knowing the enemy's weakness and while not knowing. Right you are, Princess. However, I can count on the fingers of one hand the number of times that the counter-sentinel unit that was founded on your proposal has done any proper fighting. It has been defeated by events beyond its control on countless occasions. Early on, we won by dint of sheer numbers, but we have now lost nearly half of those forces. Perhaps we would be better served by taking this opportunity to develop weapons capable of directly attacking the Sentinel's command. There's not a human alive that cannot help but feel an instinctive terror when they are confronted by a Sentinel. It's for that reason that we found ourselves so hard-pressed. However, my unit has been constantly training, learning ways to suppress that fear. Now that we have learned their weakness, this is the perfect chance to put my unit's abilities to the test. Perhaps, but losses to date have been massive. Meaning no offense. But it seems to me that your unit is being maintained solely out of egotism on your part, Princess. <laughs> Watch it, Gramps! Who do you think you're talking to? Crossell, keep quiet. The audience will refrain from further outbursts. I cannot allow this statement to go unanswered. Not at all. Please, continue. In that case, I will speak frankly. To all appearances, your unit no longer serves any worthwhile purpose. Which means that we should rather develop anti-sentinel weaponry. I had proposed as much before this incident, but it was rejected on the rationale that your counter-sentinel unit was being formed. But if you decide to develop weapons, it will cost a great deal of time and money and manpower. We have none to spare. Oh, princess. Many lives are being lost due to your ego. Are you saying that time and money mean more to you than their lives? <laughs> that does it! Have you people ever set foot on a battlefield? Juto! And who might you be? This is Juto, 
He was assigned to the counter sentinel unit the other day. The young man they say defeated the Guardian. Guardian? As I understand it, the Guardian on Highwind Island was already in a weakened state. This man could be anyone, and you let him join our army over a trivial matter? I hope for your sake this man isn't a Northern Forces spy. A trivial matter? You people! Do nothing but sit here in comfort and hold meetings! Oh, you'd go that far, eh? In that case, let's see what you can do. Defeat a sentinel for us. <coughs> What's the matter? Where did the fire in your belly go? Stop this! Juto is... Sure, you got it. I'll take out a sentinel for you. Juto! Ha! Very well. If you should defeat a sentinel in the upcoming battle, I will admit to being rude and will apologize. Now, now, gentlemen, let's all remain calm. Let's let cooler heads prevail. The upcoming battle in Old Fox Canyon is even more crucial than usual. As we are all painfully aware, this is an all-or-nothing situation for our army. I want you all to go into this battle thinking of it as our final conflict. This time, let us breach the Gate of Wailing and slay the enemy general, Sion Regral! Juto, you went too far in there. So what? You're saying what they did back there was right? Zephy was the one who let you join. When you speak out like that, it puts her position at risk. I didn't mean to. Why not? It was like a breath of fresh air to me. Huh? You know, I had you pegged as thick-headed, but you can be pretty sharp sometimes. What? You know, I've never liked General Headquarters either. They do nothing but talk, and never set foot on a battlefield. Crocelle! But they got under your collar too, didn't they, Princess? Face it, those guys always ignore us. Yes, but there are some things you shouldn't say out loud. <sighs> All right. The same goes for you, Juto. Do you have any idea how rude it was to do what you did in the General Headquarters Council Chamber? This is Abazet. You're not on Highwind Island anymore. But... but wait just a minute. They were the ones who were trying to pick up... Are you talking back to your superior officer? My... My apologies, Princess. And one more thing, if you ever take the words out of my mouth again, you'll regret it. Yes, ma'am. All right, everyone. I'm sure by now you've all figured out what the General Headquarters staff have in mind. During this operation, let's force them to acknowledge our value, whether they want to or not. If they decide to put everything they've got into weapons development, it will cost additional funds, time, and lots of people. The war is going badly enough as it is. This will cause innocent people to suffer even more than they are right now. Considering how loudly you spoke up in there, I take it that you're ready and willing to fight, Juto? Of course. Let's give it our best, everyone! Come what may, we'll win the battle at Old Fox Canyon. Pack your gear like you mean it! This time, we'll open the Gate of Wailing! We have to avenge Kaito. Juto, this will be your first time in a large-scale operation, so don't try anything crazy. I, I won't die, no matter what. Not until I settle things with Elgar. Right, that's the spirit. Our unit's directive has always been absolutely do not die. Remember that. Let's win and rub it in their faces. 
Yes, princess. She was tougher than anyone else. She'd never do anything to expose her weakness to others. I had begun to admire her for that. Once you're ready, let's set out for Old Fox Canyon. That reminds me, you should perform enhancements on your weapons before we leave. Enhancements? Juto, do you know about enhancements? Never heard of it before. I see. In that case, I'll give you a simple explanation. Enhancements are a technology that makes the weapons we use stronger and more effective. Weapons have devices that contain command boards. These command boards have spaces called holes that you insert commons into. Slot system, basically. When you insert commons into these holes, the weapon is enhanced. And that's the basic concept behind enhancements. The weapons are upgraded just by inserting things in them? That's right. And if you fill all the holes in the command board, it then generates a whole new board and gets bigger. The bigger the common board grows, the more holes it has on it that can accept commons, making it better for enhancement. Where can I make enhancements? You'll find a menu labeled Enhancements in the main menu. In order to make enhancements, what you will need is a weapon that ha Commons are sold by common... However, the best quality commons you can get are often pos... In other words, you can obtain commons at... Also, there's one other way. It happens to be my signature. When I use this skill, I'm able to obtain the essence housed within the monster's box. Now go and put my signature technique, Solix. If you enhance a weapon with commons that you obtain, your attack power will... Whenever you get a new weapon, don't forget to go to the main menu. It'll be easier if I just give you some commons and let you... All right, once you've finished getting ready, let's go to the city. If we talk to the soldiers waiting at the entrance, we'll be able to get passage straight out to the canyon aboard a freighter called a Karma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if the board constantly fucking grows, there's no reason to get new weapons, is there? You can just remove everything. And quite frankly, having to use the fee all the time just to get friggin' cannon seems stupid as all hell. Just the one.
A random ass soldier in the universe. I'm sorry, that's not standing. Anyway. Fox Canyon. Are you coming along? Understand. We're leaving soon. Huh, it's an undersea tunnel. battle at Old Fox Canyon, I will tell you our plan. Your primary objective on this mission is the Gate of Wailing. The Southern forces have been trying to breach it for months, but have yet to succeed in doing so. But at the end of that long trial, we have successfully discovered an effective means of capturing the Gate of Wailing. The details will be sent to you via queue. Once we breach the Gate of Wailing, we expect that Northern Forces General Sion Regral will be lying in wait there. The General always has two wizards with him as guards. We anticipate that he and these two wizards will unleash powerful attacks at you. There is a pillar at Sion Regral's location. Upon the enemy's defeat, remain on alert there for a while. You are to operate it immediately and convert it into an allied pillar. Very well. Good luck. Eva <laughs> condition. Mm -hmm. Here is our current situation. Multiple archers acting in tandem with death ballistas have been placed behind a barricade. When we breached it to secure a route for our main force, we found a new path to the north flank. However, there was an obstacle and we have yet to make any progress down it. I've been told that you've already received powerful bombs from the Neko Neko. These bombs should be able to demolish the obstacle. I'll show you the way. I'll send out as soon as you're ready. 
Now let's move out. We can expect to engage the enemy on the way. Now be ready for combat. Zephy. Let me deal with barricades, Princess. I'll burn them away with my field action night fire. When you need it, make me the leader. My flames will burn right through. In the process. avoided the attack. Well, let us launch a surprise attack against the northern forces, rear flank. 
I'll return to the command center and inform them of our success. Pray for victory. Save me. Hey, my life. My name is Horn. I'm ashamed to say it, but I fell behind as we were moving to secure the enemy's pillar. Huh? My father asked you? He asked you to protect me? How embarrassing. It's unseemly to get teary and sentimental on the battlefield. Ever since I joined the Southern Forces, I haven't been able to worry about my father. I never... I never imagined that he would be so concerned for my safety. I wish I could go see him immediately, but I don't have that luxury right now. And so, I would like to ask a favour of you. Would you deliver a letter for me to my father in Abzet? Beg of you, as soon as I have told I intend to go visit him. A sentinel unit. Up ahead is the there. Up ahead in the canyon is an enemy camp. We need to destroy that camp to gain an advantage over them. Go ahead and attack them directly. Northern forces soldiers are stationed around the camp as guard. We can ignore the soldiers and attack the camp, but let's tear them down first for safety. Well. Wow. It'll be really nice if it displayed and things on completely so we can see. Does that mean that? 
him somewhere else. Huh, most likely means that. All right, let's go. This is my fate. Too slow. I can see what you're doing. Yes. It. There's another thing over there, is it another one? You're pretty good. Just a stretch. Huh? <laughs> 
All right, let's go! your enthusiasm, but you should rest, too. Strike unit. There are three attack patterns from the gate of Wailing. Archers firing from the far side of the gate, spear thrusts from holes in the gate, and small bombs thrown from overhead. The important thing for all three is controlling the space in front of the gate. Well, duh. Bombs thrown by the enemy take a short time to explode. Take advantage of that. If you kick a bomb at a gate and hit it, it should collapse the barrier. When the barrier is down, Attacks can pass through and it will be restored as time passes, so be careful. Our good Juto will see to the kicking. Fire can will be generated here where the bombs explode. Then it will be Crowcell's time to show his stuff. Good luck to you all. From Rat. Let's 
right. Let's go. This is my fate. What? This is just time consuming. My sword will work well. What? 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 I sort of work on this guy. Leave it to me. This is Said something down the bottom there, I missed it. Yep, can't have been that important. Do 
counter sentinel unit. The enemy leader, Sian Regrau, uses wind calm. He usually has Ignis wizards with him who make Khan to support him. So when the enemy wizards generate wind Khan and are able to use skills that consume those Khan, Sian Regrau will not be able to attack with wind Khan anymore. Then your attack would be the best defense. Basically saying to kill the wizards first. All right, let's go. Too slow. I can see what you're doing. Yes. your power. Temporary garrison and enemy pillar are now under our control. Based on our thorough examination of the Northern Forces pillar, they have been ordered to retreat from the canyon. The gate of Wailing has been breached, and their morale appears to be suffering as well. With the enemy in retreat, fighting them should be easy. Go on ahead. We will follow after you soon. Yeah, I guess we got one more fight left in us. We mm, still have to fight the Sentinel, don't we? <laughs> that is enhancement. Thank you. 
This is bad. More soldiers were wounded in the battle than we expected. The medical supplies we brought ran out, so we requested more from HQ, but... We don't do something that the wounded soldiers don't have a hope of lasting that long. We've treated the seriously injured with healing wizardry, but only enough to buy them time. Right now, that is our only option. Princess, please assist us until the medical supplies arrive. Please focus all your efforts on saving the soldiers until the medical supplies arrive. We really came for treating the wounded soldiers if he has to run around and get as many wounded soldiers as possible this time, because why not? Thank you so much. The lives of many soldiers are saved thanks to you. I will now concentrate on mopping up all remaining Northern Forces troops from Old Fox Canyon. What we do, we do for Landsheim. Ha! <laughs> 
That's... is that Claire? It sure looks that way. Claire? She's the confidant of the Supreme Commander of the Northern Forces, Shuenzite. Everyone, be careful. Just ma'am. Princess Rosabilda, are you all right? Northern forces! Reinforcements have been sent in! That wall... I get it. It looks like Claire deliberately showed herself in order to separate us from the others. Damn! It was a trap! 
Such a rare event. To be honest, it was a close call for us today.
I hear. Carol. You just stop being such a little chicken bitch. Been a tough fight. I'll heal you now. Stand and get them together. Here's the finishing blow. Take this. Leave it to me. You're gonna be strong. I'm pretty good. Leave the rest to me. 
turned out cool. Running away. Princess, we did it! We defeated a Northern Forces Sentinel! I can't believe Claire would come personally. Hey, let's just count our blessings and celebrate, okay? We'll discuss it later. It's too dangerous to remain here. Let's relocate to somewhere else. Good idea. That shield doesn't look like it can be broken. Raoud and the others are worried about us. But I suppose our only choice is to continue forward. Damn, the path is blocked. And here I thought we'd finally won this time. Let's go to Kodamare. It doesn't look like we have time to stand around here talking. Wait, Kodamare? But they say the Mari people are prejudiced against humans. They'll probably attack us. No, that's not necessarily true. On the contrary, this might be a good opportunity to convince the Mari to form an alliance with us. Form an alliance? Old Fox Canyon is a location that we're going to need to retake eventually. When we do, we'll have to go right through Kotamari in order to lead a charge on Dunan Hill. If we can form an alliance with the Mare, the odds at the battle at Dunan Hill will be greatly in our favor. We don't want pursuers to come after us. Let's hurry. In that case, let's start by heading to Navy Blue Marsh. I experienced a real battle. It was a truly empty thing. Notions such as righteousness were nowhere to be found there, only killing. What is it? What is it that let Zephy face this war? What was her state of mind when she saw her people dying? I sort of felt like I understood what she was feeling as she offered up prayers over the belongings of dead soldiers. Why is that so quiet? Ooh, jungle. Why 
did it have to be now? Let's wait for a while. What is this stuff? I heard he'd lost his memory, but I think this is more a case of not knowing squat. Don't act like a know-it-all just because you know a little more than I do. I guess when you have amnesia, you don't just lose your memories, you lose all your knowledge, too. <laughs> you are one seriously annoying bastard, you know that? If you keep this up, I'll throw both of you out into the Doom Seeds. Yeah, well, he's the one who started it. Crocelle is going overboard because you overreact to everything. <clears throat> Doom Seeds bring calamity. Huh? When Doom Seeds fall, crops stop growing and ripening, and all wizardry stops working. Commons lose their effect, too. To the people of Lonsheim, these mysterious falling seeds that destroy Khan spell doom and catastrophe. That's why they're called doom seeds. How long has this been happening? Frequent seed falls were first witnessed about three years ago, just before the beginning of the Civil War, I think. Historical records indicate that this has happened many times in the past, though. We still don't know what causes the Doom Seeds to fall, but it's certainly related to Khan somehow. Doom Seeds negate the effects of all the Khan in its vicinity. So that's why you can't use wizardry. It doesn't look all that bad at first glance. True, but apparently if you stand out in it for too long, your strength begins to fade and you eventually die. Unfortunately, I really don't know very many of the particulars, though. Still, it's eerie, but kind of pretty. It never fell on Highwind Island, so this is my first time seeing it. It's a phenomenon that you see whenever there's a great battle. I think the main reason that they're called Doom Seeds is that they seem to herald disaster whenever they fall. One hundred and fifty years ago, Lantime was ravaged by war just like today, when there was an uprising of nobles. It was called the Ruhalt Civil War, and the records of the day say that Doom Seeds fell then, too. This time, the Doom Seeds started falling just before Shuenzite launched the war. It was almost as if it were some kind of signal. Maybe this is just nature's way of punishing humanity. For treating the earth so badly, trampling it underfoot with its wars. If that's true, is there any way to stop the Doom Seeds? As for that, I don't know. All I know of is a legend that says the Magna Carta shall stop the Doom Seeds. The Magna Carta? Wasn't that Strauss? Yes. Magna Carta means the greatest Carta among all Carta. Lord Strauss was definitely a man whose power warranted that name. Because of that, powerful people all around the world are referred to as Magna Carta to this very day. Still, even if there was a Magna Carta, we might not be able to do anything until we find out how to stop the Doom Seeds. Come on, that stuff is all made up. Every soldier who's made a name for himself on the battlefield gives himself the title of Magna Carta, you know? You might be right, but among those people who received that title, there really was one amazing wizard. The Seedfall isn't letting up. Anyway, we're in trouble here. We don't have any drinking water, and we're out of emergency rations, too. You're right. If we drink water that has seeds mixed in, we'll lose the ability to use wizardry for a while. Being exposed to the seeds for a little while won't kill us. We should hurry to Kotamare and ask the Mare people for assistance. Yes, but if we go there right now, the Mare might see our arrival as a bad omen. It's because the Mare believe the seeds are falling due to the Civil War, 
As a result, they hate humans. Who are the Mara? Oh man, I have to explain this too? What a pain. Nobody's asking you. The Mare are a race who live in Kota Mare. The Mare closely resemble humans in appearance. Compared to seeing a Trewa for the first time, someone seeing or interacting with one of them would feel no unease. However, their growth rate is much faster than a human's. They reach adulthood in about ten years. Wow, I had no idea. The Mari are short-lived, with a lifespan of about 40 years, but they maintain their youthful appearance until the day they die. But if they find out that we're soldiers, no way are they gonna help us. What are we gonna do? Well, you have a point. The Mare despise fighting. Why don't we hide the fact that we're with the Southern Army until we enter Kotamare? I intend to propose a treaty with the Mari people, so maybe it would be best if we were to meet them frankly, openly, and honestly. Yeah, but if they decide to turn us away at the gate, it's all over. Or they might throw us out while the Doom Seeds are still falling. <sighs> you have a point. Chances are, they probably won't let us in even if we are honest about our identities. Zephy, what do we do? Travel incognito? I feel terrible about deceiving them, but not seeing their chieftain is out of the question. If we sit here, we can't move forward, and we can't go back either. I'm overwhelmed with guilt, but I'm afraid this seems to be our only way of getting the Mari to let us into the village to meet with their chieftain. It looks like the seed fall is weakening. Let's set out soon. Look, you, you, you there. You came at just the right time. I have a favor to ask. I'm a traveling merchant, you see. I make frequent trips to Kodamari to deliver goods. But while I was on the way there, this time I ran afoul of some nasty northern forces types. They threatened me and they stole all, my go all of my goods. Oh dear, oh dear. And so you see, could you see your way to make clear to taking back my merchandise? You'll be rewarded properly. We have his folk art stingy. Yuki, yuki. I knew you were kind-hearted fellows as soon as I laid eyes on you. The northern forces are camped in the south. That's probably where my goods are. Refuge of darkness. It's <laughs> terrifying. Two streams a day. This fucking screen blur at times is terrible. <sighs> anyway, I have some things I want to do today. Which I probably actually won't get done, but still, I want to try at least. So, that will be all for now. 
going to be back with more tomorrow. Bye.